Having a baby is a major health milestone, and it's not unusual for it to take up to six weeks to fully recover. During your recovery period, there are some signs we want you to watch out for. My name is Samantha Adams, and I'm a registered nurse on the mother-baby unit at the Ottawa Hospital. In this video, I will outline six signs to watch for for after giving birth that require medical attention from a healthcare provider. Before we begin, please note the following. The information in this video is not medical advice. It shares common health facts, advice, and tips. Some of the information may not apply to you. When in doubt, always talk to your doctor, nurse, or other healthcare team member. Now let's begin. Number one, signs of infection. Reach out to your healthcare provider immediately if you have a fever over 38 degrees Celsius or 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit and or diarrhea, which is bothersome, severe, or bloody. Number two, signs of deep vein thrombosis, also called DVT. Deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot that forms in a deep vein, usually found in the leg. It requires medical attention. Signs of deep vein thrombosis includes swelling and or redness in one of your legs that is painful or warm to touch, chest pain and or shortness of breath. If you have chest pain and or shortness of breath, call 911. Number three, signs of abnormal vaginal bleeding slash discharge. It is normal to have vaginal bleeding for up to six weeks after giving birth, but it should slowly decrease. Do not use tampons for the first six weeks after birth. Use only maternity or sanitary pads. Do not put anything in your vagina during these first six weeks. It is also normal and expected for your bleeding to change color over time, from bright red to light pink to dark brown. You may also notice that vaginal bleeding may increase during chest or breastfeeding or when you are active. This is normal. However, you should watch for signs of abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge. This includes an increase in vaginal bleeding that is heavy, bright red, and soaking one pad in an hour. If you pass a large clot bigger than a plum, have vaginal discharge that is bad smelling, increased vaginal tenderness, and or difficulty with urination slash peeing, or persistent stinging when peeing. Number four, signs of mastitis or persistent sore nipples. Contact your healthcare provider if you're experiencing painful chest slash breasts that are hot, tender, red, with a fever or flu-like symptoms. Nipple or chest slash breast pain that is burning, itching, or a shooting pain that goes into the armpit, shoulder, or back, and occurs when milk starts to flow, occurs over a period of pain-free chest or breastfeeding, lasts during and between feeds, sore nipples that are not improving and or sore nipples that are red or shiny and or have small red bumps around the base. Number five, signs of postpartum depression or anxiety. It is normal to feel overwhelmed and sad at times during the first two weeks after birth as you adjust to your new routines. This is commonly known as baby blues. You might feel tearful, exhausted, isolated, worthless, are unable to cope, unable to sleep, and have a lack of appetite. During the first two weeks after birth, reach out to your friends, family, and your healthcare provider for support. If any of these symptoms last more than two weeks, reach out to your healthcare provider as these can be signs of postpartum depression. If you develop thoughts of hurting yourself or your baby, call 911. Number six, signs of high blood pressure. These include a headache that does not go away, often in the front of the head, change in vision, blurred vision, or seeing flashing lights, heartburn, or pain in your upper abdomen underneath the rib cage that doesn't go away, and or unexpected nausea and vomiting. If you have any of these symptoms, you can also check your blood pressure at home or at your local pharmacy. If your blood pressure is 140 over 90 or higher, or if you normally have had high blood pressure and you feel it is worsening, call the obstetrical assessment unit of the campus that you gave birth at or get medical help immediately. This is important because if your blood pressure becomes too high, you are at risk for a stroke and or a seizure. If you have sudden fainting, body stiffening, shaking, facial numbness, arm weakness, and or slurred speech, call 911 or have somebody call 911 for you. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns about your health or condition, please reach out to your healthcare provider. For urgent matters, please call 911 or go to your nearest emergency department. 